Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this stream. I'm The Gentleman and this is The Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today we are playing Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid is a PC game and I know we like to do retro bits and pieces on the channel. That is mainly what the focus is. But this is very retro looking when you have a look at it. Think going back to The Sims 1 in terms of graphics. This game has been on the PC for many, many years and... It's been in development for, for, for as long as it's been there. It's not finished. I don't think it will ever be finished. But it is the best zombie sandbox simulation game you can ever imagine, you can ever want to play. So, we're going to jump straight into this. If you've not seen it before, I'll do a bit of talking as we go, explain what's going on, and we're going to start a new game. So, welcome to build 41 public beta. Work in progress, blah, blah, blah. Say so, okay to that. This, if my character survives for a first couple of days, you know, maybe about 20 minutes worth of gameplay that we'll do here, we will then save it and then we'll come back to this and see how many days we can last. No promises, nothing like this. It's been years since I've played this game in terms of, it's been developed for a long time, but there's been a lot of changes from when I first played it all, probably about three years ago. So, you know, let's see how we can get on. So we are going to do solo and we have various play styles um, the top one being the absolute hardest but I think we're gonna go with survivor here pick survivor and no challenges nothing like that we'll just move on so survivor powerful combat longer lifespan a challenging play style based on project zombies previous survival mode move to next you then jump to a section where you've got four starting towns, um, and this is all meant to be in somewhere called the Ken Kentucky in the States. Um, don't know what one to use. You know, we've got a choice of four, so I don't know. Let's just go for Rosewood. Yep, we'll pick Rosewood. All of these states are connected, so you can get to the other areas in the game. Um, this is just going to be where we start. Traditionally, when you used to start before, you started in an empty house that was zombie-free. Whether it's still that way, I don't know. Let's take a look. So this is what character you've got. You know, you've got the fire officer, police officer, and all these come with preset skills. The green skills that you can see on the screen cost money to spend. The red skills are negative traits, and that gives you more points to spend on the green skills. Having played this a long time ago, I used to like a character that I always pictured as Bruce Willis um, from Die Hard, you know, starting off in a very bad situation. So I'm going to see whether my legacy character is still here. So I have good loadout. Let's have a look. Yep, this looks like we have him. So carpentry is a key one to have on this game. Fitness, short blunt, I think that was weapons, and good strength. So I'm strong, I'm a light eater, an outdoorsman, a fast reader. And fast reader is really important because you get a lot of skills from the books and everything else that you fly like, find lying around. Dexterous, cat's eye so I can see in the dark. Sleepy head, and so on. Yep, so we'll go ahead with him. Say next. And you get a random character that appears in the screen here. I think I used to have a character defined called Willis Bruce. Oh, yep, no, William Bruce. So we're going to pick him, and there is our Bruce Willis. So when I click on play, we should be starting in an empty house with not very much going on. We need to equip ourselves as best as possible and then go out into the big wide world. The first key is to get decent protection, decent clothes. The zombies will attack at night. We need a kind of safe area. So if you've not seen it before, great. If you have seen it before, well, you know what to expect. So off we go, play. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. So as I said at the opening, you are going to die in this game, you know, there, there, is the win, there is no win condition, but survive as long as possible. So here we are. Huh, okay. By a pure coincidence, 
I think... Yes, I've started in a police station. I remember this. There's a fire station a few blocks down. So this is a hopefully a good start. You move around using the cursor keys. Uh, sorry, not the cursor keys. Um, w, A, S, and D. And doors open. E is the key to interact with anything. So we can like interact with the doors. So we're trying to get over to it. Hit E, close the door. Things like light switches, right click on, turn on, turn off. <clears throat> Obviously, we need to be as stealthy as possible. You know, I do not know what to expect here. Nothing in the bathroom. Somewhere around here, there should be some lockers. And I think there's some showers up here. As I say, long time that I've played this. But if there is we might be able to get aha, what we need. So we have our inventory here and we also have the loot that's on the floor. When you get near something, you see it highlight as we have here. Look at those cupboards and I can see what's in it. I can also click on these to skip around and that will be a good weapon. So I'm gonna grab that, go to my inventory and equip in both hands. And we're just going to check the other lockers. So socks are going to be important. We're going to wear those. Sheets we will grab. Sheets were very important for covering up windows in houses. And a school bag we're going to equip on our back. So Bruce Willis, or William Bruce, isn't looking too cool at the moment. But you know what? He's at least got something to carry things around him so the main box here that you see is your inventory with the items keys are any keys that you find this is very useful for car keys try and drop that on the key ring no hang on don't know why that's not ah it's not doing it because there's no keys this is just my key ring and the barbell is in my hands so just check the last couple of lockers Paperclip, nothing there of use. We're going to take a wander to see whether there's any more showers. I think there was another set of shower rooms. No, nope, maybe not. Moving down the corridor. Oh, are these other showers? Do we have them? Yes, we do. Right, so we'll take that sheet. We're going to wear the jeans. Video games. Well, the video game is useful um, for pulling apart. There, You have an option to dismantle stuff. And the more you dismantle stuff, the more skills you get, the higher, and then the more chances of doing things. So on the skills, we jump to this profile here. You can see what I started out. And anything you add, that slowly builds up here to give you a, a reasonable chance of maybe surviving. Um, and here's my traits, my weights there, and a few other bits and pieces. A lot of this is new um, from when I played it before, like protection, uh, temperature I think is new, health was certainly okay, and health is the one that I'm most worried about, and you've got to keep the biggest eye on. But we've taken all we can from the uh, locker rooms here. This game is also played, how do I get out? Was it down here? Nope. Yeah, this game is, where is, damn it, where is the exit? Was it through there? Ah, it's on the other side. This game is also played in a day-night cycle as well. So you are effectively against the clock. We don't see a clock, but if we find a digital watch, it will appear up on the right-hand side of the screen. So you can run. But I'm choosing just to walk at a leisurely pace because I don't exert myself running. You hold down the shift key and just push the direction and there you go. And that's a shame. This is a reinforced door. This is going to be hard to break down for the moment. If that hadn't have been um, a locked, we could have gone there and into the room next door, which I believe, if I recall, is where there was a whole load of weapons, armory, everything else like this. This is the uh, jail area. Um, as I say, this is a starting location, so I think we are not going to find 
very much so we need to head into the city. So, so far, zero zombies killed. And this is the world. As I say, very Sims 1-like graphics. You can hurt yourself on so many things like glass, you know, and God knows what else they've done here. So, you know, this could be a very short game. Um, mouse wheel zooms in, Sims out, and there's a zombie coming towards us. So that sound you saw there was the death of her. So we're going to wear her sneakers. Wear the tank top. Not going to worry about stuff like the, 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 the rings and the things like this. And we're a little bit protected. So that looks like there is some damage on that tam tank top there. So if I go to protection. No, does that tell me anything? No, not really. Not for the moment. I'll, I'll figure that out as we go. So what I'm looking for now, as much as possible, is to get some food, water, something like that. And the best thing we should do is head to where the houses are. There are houses to the right, but that's going to be really, really overrun. This is a fire station um, that we're going to walk past now as well. You know, we might be able to do something with that. This fence here, you can climb the fences. Check that body, nothing there, nope. Um, you can climb the fences, but there's no point there on the other side. So I'm just going to gently mic my way around. If you haven't got a weapon, you can use spacebar to push, and you can also stamp on their heads, which is their, their kill box, their kill zone. When you get the crushing sound, you know you're in a pretty good place. Now, if I can kill a couple of these, we're, we're going to drop this weapon um, on a quip. Because, you know, that, uh, look at that, we got all those there. That there's too many to kill. And we got the police guys there as well. So, maybe, if I can head off into the station, have that one police guy follow me. And there he comes. They're banging on the glass. They do, they can break the glass, and they do break the glass. So they're reaching out to me now. Now it gets a little tough. You know, I have no weapons. I didn't start in a house. So, you know, there, there's a much so I'm going to have to try and run past. And that's it. Bitten. Attacked. <clears throat> I am not going to escape this. So I survived for three hours. I killed one zombie in game mode survivor. You know, this is Project Zomboid. I think what we'll do is we're going to just have a, a new character again. I'll use the same defaults as I had before and try and show you the house as well. So time to start again. So we're going to have another go after dying then. What you haven't seen is uh, I, I cut the stream because I did do a quick restart of it. And with the same character who I named... Um, Bruce William II or William Bruce II whatever his name was he appeared back in the police station so I don't know whether that is something new that you automatically start there but let's do solo survivor no mods used do next go back to Rosewood which is where we were before do next pick good loadout do next and again we're going to do William Bruce play. Hopefully we start in a house. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. Perfect. We start in a house. Excellent. So this house should be free from zombies, which means that, you know, I can quite happily move around safely. TVs, I'm going to change the channel. So where is it? Where is it? Device options. 
and we go to Life and Living TV. There's a little trick here with this. As you see, um, it's talking about cooked chicken now, and you get skill points. Your skills start to level up. So you'll see I automatically get some cooking... Oh, lovely. You heard that scream. You automatically get some ch uh, cooking skills there just by listening to these. And that noise you see is leveling up. I'm going to close the curtains. If you close the curtains, if they're available, um, it removes the line of sight for the zombies. Um, this window here doesn't have them, nor does that window. And go here and have a look at the books. So the advanced first aid kit, um, you have to read the beginner books first and then you can move up a level. And this gives you multipliers for when you're doing activities. You've got fridges here, um, freezer, cupboards, a can opener. Can opener is always worth carrying with you in your inventory because you will find plenty of cans. And I'm just looking at the other cupboards here, you know, a few bits and pieces. Nothing to worry about directly for the moment. Open this door. And there's just a dryer, a washing dryer here. All this furniture, all these cupboards, if you've got the right materials to hand, you can disassemble, you can take apart to increase skills. We are going upstairs and there's going to be a couple of, oh, there's a bookshelf here. So herbalist. Um, that will teach us a, a, a few herbal, I think, cooking things for if you're going to be doing foraging and stuff like this. This little progress bar shows how far you are through the book. Um, when you've read the book, you do not need to read it again. It is done. So, and we'll do the angling one as well, which is probably going to help with fishing. Again, I've got a skill of fast reader, which was on the good loadout um, character that I had so this isn't going to be too much of an impact or a problem in terms of how much day it's going to eat up and we should be fairly safe in this house but we don't know the time until I can get a watch through that door and we've got all these cupboards to explore socks perfect you need those for when you're walking on the ground um, obviously shoes on top but they will offer some protection and perfect you, you couldn't have asked for a better one here's a digital watch so I'm gonna wear the watch put on my I don't know, left wrist and you got the time of day the time here date temperature outside and when you get the watches always right click on them and do set alarm and make sure that it is off which is great but I'm gonna I suppose I could set the alarm for morning make sure that I don't oversleep and I start fresh and early every day There will hopefully be another couple of bedrooms up in the house that we can find something suitable to, as a weapon and to wear. So what have we got? Well, the only clothing there is a short skirt. We're going to grab it. I don't want that yet, but hopefully if there's nothing else, we might end up um, wearing a skirt. So in the little cupboard here, we have found a golf club. We are going to grab equip in both hands that should be a nice weapon if I need it and in here a sweater so we're gonna wear that wear a belt long denim shorts we'll wear that and that's about all we need now take a look and our hero ready for success in the world let's see what we can do you obviously saw the intro where or not the intro but the if you're still with me and thank you for still being with me if you are the uh opening part where i died very quickly you know let's see whether we can get this character lasting a little bit longer and in fairness it's been so long since i've played this he's allowed a quick death once in a while Nails are good for building things, planks are perfect there. You can board up windows, you can do all kinds of things with them. And notice I'm just clicking on the icon and everything in range is basically lighting up so you can see you know, what I've got access to, what's there. But there's nothing really there of any use. So we're gonna try and hop the fence. 
Yep, that's the E key to do that. Been a little while. And oh, there was a zombie. Hello. Good. Let's take your shoes. And that groaning sound, you know, was a sound that you absolutely got him. That's their, their death sound. Ah, generators. So generators, later on in the game, when the power goes, um, you need generators and fuel to power items. You know, always worth for us remembering that set. And the wood mallet, if I recall, was a really good weapon a long time ago. Whether it still is now, I don't know. Screwdriver, great for taking things apart. So we'll attach that to our belt as well. And toolbox. I don't remember the toolboxes. We'll grab that. And I noticed the welder mask. We're going to wear the welder mask. That will, you know, make us look pretty damn mean, I think. But also... Aha! Before, look, this gives us the protection here. So look at the difference. We're 30% protected from bites, 50% from scratches. Good. So things are looking up apart from he's a bit bloody and messy there. Houses. Oh, dead zombie in there. This person probably killed themselves. There might be some good loot in here. Look at the drink. If you hit E by a window, it forces you to open it. However, the danger is there could be an alarm, but probably not with this person dead there. So, you know, we've got to be really careful. So if you hold the shift key down, no. If you hold the control key down, control, so you sneak as I was doing there. So we're going to take that watch. We're going to wear that on our left wrist. wrist. Notice how the, uh, the, the, the date goes and everything else. There's a clear difference between the classic rot, watch, watch wrists, wrist rotties, rather, put my teeth in, and the digital one. So we're going to put that back on our left wrist and we have a bit more information. What else did they have? So jacket, we're going to wear the jacket. That will protect us. I think those pants we will wear as well. That will be better for us. And the house key, if I take that key. Nope. If I take that key and pop it in my inventory. Go to the inventory. And if I can put that on the key ring. Perfect. That's there now. So that's where all my keys will be. So there's the body I'm looking at. If you click on the floor tile, you can get the uh, drinks that we would have there as well. So we just remember that there. Better not drink them. Don't want to get drunk this early in the game. Bathrooms, uh, cabinets can hold medicines, stuff like that to help you out, or at least they could previously in the game. And here we have a broom. Rip sh ripped sheets. These are good if you've got a nail, nails and stuff like that. You could top me. Oh, I thought I heard something there. Maybe outside. Let's have a look. So he's gone. We'll wear those military boots. I'm trying to upgrade my protection as we go. Got another one coming over there. Let's just let them come to me. The key is don't exert yourself. Do not exert yourself on this game and you might be okay. So space stamps as well. Three dead bodies. Let's wear the overalls. Maybe that's more. Yes, look, see more protection. This is getting good. So shoes don't care about any of that. And nothing there. So icons, I'm clearly getting hot with what I've got. So we're going to take off the... Uh, let's see. I thought I put a jacket on. Yeah, we're going to take off the... No, not take off the jacket. We're going to take off the tank top and we're going to take off the sweater come on sweater in fact I just need to do something here 
my TV goes into standby if I um, leave it playing too much. So where were we? Yes, sweater, sweater, sweater. I did a sweater, would it? No, tank top. Oh, who knows? They're not there anymore. But the unpleasant icon on the top right hand side that showed I was over really hot has gone. But we have this water here. I'm slightly thirsty, so I'm going to go back in the house. Go to the kit. Oh, this is new, I think. It's showing towels there as well. Right click, drink. So first has gone, drink again. At some point the water goes out. The water is never really the big problem in this game. Take a look in the cupboards and the fridge. Bread knife, no we want the can opener. What we're looking for though to ensure it doesn't become a problem is a bottle of water. You automatically drink the bottled water when you're carrying it around. You know, you don't need to physically do this. And when I first ever saw this game and played this game, I was like, how do you drink the water from the bottles? That was actually an automatic action and never a problem in itself where food you do not automatically eat. So we're in a what looks like a, a children's room now or an office. Yeah, it's got to be an office. That'd be a very bad children's room. Go to another bedroom. Lock it, don't care about that. So we've been playing for a couple of hours of game time, I believe. Killed, let's have a look. For, sorry, four hours game time, killed four zombies. And here we are, so this is the bathroom that I spoke about earlier that can hold many, many things. Take the vitamins, grab those. So currently I'm a, I'm a 11 point25 uh, over 18. I've got a fair bit amount more that I can carry. Need to get a backpack or something like that. Zombies can carry great equipment around as well. At least they did in the past. So you have a chance to get the backpack. A strawberry, strawberry blonde hair dye. That's new. Um, we'll take the bandage in case I hurt myself. If you get scratched, if you get injured in this game. If it, it's not always game over. If you get bitten, um, it pretty much is game over. But if you get scratched, you know, sometimes you can recover, sometimes you can survive. So climb over this one. Oh, there's one. Hello. Let's try and let you out. Oh. There's a few there. We're going to go for a little walk. So this high wall here, they cannot follow me over. I should be able to scale that and get over. There's times that you can't if you overburden, if you're unhealthy. And now I'm on the main high street and you notice that attack there. So running is not good. We're going to climb back over the wall. quietly move away you know they they if they have line of sight you have difficulty this house here is a burnt down one that you can see and now i've got two guys coming after me got i think guys hitting the space pushes them one down two down I need to be a bit more stealthy, I think, to try and not get myself heard too much. So 
So let's take a break. We're going to, well, we'll try and head into that house. Look how much more bloody they get as you hit them as well. Yeah, this game has come on a lot. Oh, Freddy Krueger. Oh, and there was another one. You've only got, effectively, where you can see in front of you. So I didn't see that other one behind Freddy coming. So Freddy has gone. That's gone. Anybody else? No. See, you have to be constantly on your toes with this. You know, all kinds of things can set them off and you've just got to really be careful, clear the area. So here we're going to remove, so we're going to turn that off. At night, they won't be able to see this. So I think we need to pop in and just try and, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. So that is a house alarm. Now every zombie worth its salt is going to be running towards that area. I'm so fortunate there's a chain link fence there. I can climb over that. And actually, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Chain link fences, um, they can't navigate over. If you walk through bush, uh, bushes, stuff like that, it's uh, bushes, trees, it slows you down as well. So nothing with you. So look at this house. This house is boarded up. This has very likely um, got a spawn of zombies in it because people tried to protect it before. That is going to be very dangerous at this stage to go into but I like where we are because we have this fence we're, we're protected from I suppose the south side we've just got to deal with these guys from here so a little bit of running to exert myself jump over that fence If I can lose line of sight, I could be, yes, I could be okay for a moment. Huh, is this the house I started in? Oh, no, I don't think it is. So for a moment, I'm okay, but look at this. Hungry, panicked, sweating, and here they come in the house. Now absolutely panicking. So this is what happens, you get the big swarm of them come with the alarms and then you end up in a messed up situation like this. Perhaps I can find some sanctuary here. Come on, good. Climb through. Close window. So we're going to see whether we have sheets in the cupboard. No, nope, that's not going to work. Let's get another drink of water. I'm still very near where these other guys were, so you know, there could be death pretty soon. All this food you can cook if you want to. Um, but I just want something to eat. Here we are. Canned beans. Open canned beans. And we're going to eat that. I just need to get rid of any hunger that we've got. I'm exerted as well. Um, slightly damp, rain or sweat. That's probably for the running that I've done. So this 
isn't the best protection. I'm on a building that has no upper floor and a, a little bit stuck here for the moment. So we're just going to take a careful look outside. So we'll grab the bandana, that looked pretty cool. He's got nothing else, and there's another coming here. Do you have anything? Nope, don't want your lipstick. You can see that you've absolutely got odds against you. You know, if they notice me, I'm in trouble. And, and look at this. We, we got this crew here that have just stood by the house. Um, so let's head. Oh, has he seen me? No. I'm just carefully watching, trying to see any movement, anything, maybe one. Hopefully, hopefully, this little house will be reasonably okay. But let's just check around the back. And the side's good. Oh no, there's one coming from the north. So not sure what that area is for the moment. And we got... There's a policeman there. So he might have some good protection on him. Come on, come to me. So we're going to wear the vest. Wear the shoes. No, not the shoes. We'll wear the pants, though. We were trying to make ourselves into a uh, Bruce Willis type character. I think this is a good way to start off. So, what have we got? Let's try and look at our protection. Yeah, not as bad. I think maybe we. Uh, no let's close that as much as we want to look good in that we really probably need to put the overalls back on yeah look at the difference they make all right so let's carefully go back to this house and see where we stand i'm anxious i'm on edge you can get pills for that Climb through. So I'm using space to push them on the ground. And then I'm stamping on them. Is that it? So th this game, this is how prepared you need to be. Look at them just follow me through that window. Didn't even see them there. And, you know, everything nearly, nearly, nearly went wrong. So I'm also drowsy. You need to sleep. You need to rest. You've got to look after your body here. So let's see. 16 and a half over 18. I need to get rid of some of these this stuff that I've carried here. So let's see what we can drop. 
Okay, so golf club is broken. That can go. We've read that magazine. We've read that magazine. Don't want the tin can. Grab one. So I drop the can open to pick it up there. How do we, if, we, if I drop that on the floor, that, oh no, I don't have enough, nothing in it, look. You can see the list of items that are there. Don't want the skirt, don't want that, don't want that. You can see that we're drastically reducing, you know, our weight and all the rubbish that we're carrying. Uh, leather jacket, no, that should go. Long denim shorts. So now we're just agitated. So what's in the fridge? So this even goes down to the level if you know you're agitated, anxious, stuff like that, you might be able to do stuff. So I've got some cigarettes and I can't smoke because I haven't got a lighter. Bruce Willis used to smoke if I recall. Let's see if we can find him. Yes, we have the lighter and matches. Alright, so agitated, let's have a cigarette. Nope, that didn't do anything there. Pity, worth trying. Just checking the cupboards by walking up to them and you can see what we've got there. So this has been, oh, more drink. This has been a good day for us. You know, a good first day. We have killed 19 zombies, as many as that. Well, that did go well. We should probably try and get some rest now before exploring. We're going to equip a weapon anyway, which is a wooden mallet. So equip primary. That should hurt them when they're hit. And let's save here. So when we go here, uh, we go to sleep here. It effectively cycles till the next day or however long. You can be woken up in the middle of the night. Um, this game does have a helicopter event that happens fairly early on. Much like the house alarms or thing it flying through the sky to where you are. And that just creates absolute havoc for you. Uh, but beyond that, it's been a good day. So we're going to go to sleep. I'm going to quit the stream. I'll quit the video now. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please give it a subscribe. And thank you for watching. And see you next time. But before that, let's send our man to sleep.